We were almost done, until this happened. Our foundation cracked, and our structural engineer disappeared. It started with small cracks. But soon, they got bigger. We knew something was wrong. It wasn't just poor workmanship, the ground beneath our foundation was shifting. That's when we discovered the real culprit, clay soil. Clay expands when it gets wet and shrinks when it dries. Over time, this movement caused instability in the foundation. And sadly, our original structural engineer never warned us. When we tried to contact him, no reply. No report. No responsibility. He completely vanished. We felt betrayed. This was someone we trusted to guide us. And now, we were left to face a serious structural issue alone. After noticing the first crack, we didn't want to take any chances. We slowly walked around the entire foundation, scanning every corner and edge with care. At first glance, everything looked solid, but we needed to be sure. Then, we spotted it, a small hairline crack on the far side of the foundation. It didn't look serious. To be honest, it seemed like something that could have been caused by nearby construction vibrations. We felt a little more at ease. We didn't sit and wait. We called in a geotechnical engineer to properly assess the situation. A geotechnical engineer is a type of civil engineer who specializes in soil and rock behavior for construction projects. They assess if soil is stable and strong enough to support buildings, roads, etc. After testing, they confirmed it, unstable clay soil was compromising the foundation. Here's the truth, we never tested the soil before we started building. That was our mistake, and it cost us. If you're planning to build, please learn from us, always test the soil first. It's a small step that can save you millions and months of stress. We also brought in a new structural engineer, one who actually cared. Together, we worked on a new plan to save the project. We were advised by the new structural engineer to install proper drainage pipes before we proceeded with anything else. This was a critical step, especially because we're building on clay soil. Clay holds onto water like a sponge. When it absorbs too much moisture, it swells. Later, when it dries out, it shrinks again. That constant movement causes the ground to shift, which can lead to foundation cracks and serious structural problems. By installing drainage early, we're reducing moisture buildup and protecting the foundation from long-term damage. The solution wasn't easy. We had to cut into our existing slab to create space for a new beam, one that was strong enough to support the load and prevent any future structural movement. Why? Because the original support design wasn't enough to handle the stress on that part of the foundation, especially with the clay soil shifting beneath. Without that new beam, cracks would keep forming and the structure would remain unstable. Yes, it was messy. Yes, it was expensive. But this beam gave us back our peace of mind. With the right support in place and proper technical supervision, we finally felt secure again. Once all the reinforcement work was completed and the steel was securely in place, we reached a major milestone in our construction journey. It was finally time to pour the concrete. But before a single drop was poured, we went back and double-checked everything. Every steel bar had to be properly tied, evenly spaced, and well supported. There's no room for guesswork at this stage. Why? Because once the concrete sets, it locks everything in place. Any mistake, even a small one, during reinforcement can lead to weak spots, sagging slabs, or worse, structural failure. We also made sure that all electrical and plumbing conduits were firmly secured, and that the formwork was tight, level, and strong enough to hold the weight of the pour. With all the prep work done, the big moment had arrived, pouring the concrete. Timing was everything. We started early in the day to avoid the intense heat, which can cause the concrete to dry too quickly and crack. As the concrete was poured, we worked quickly but carefully. Every section had to be filled evenly, with no gaps or air pockets. To make sure of that, we used a vibrator, a tool that helps eliminate trapped air and ensure. And remember, once it sets, there's no second chance. Once the concrete was poured and leveled, our job wasn't done yet, not even close. The next step was curing, a critical part of the process that's often rushed or overlooked. We covered the slab with river soil, a traditional but highly effective method. It helps the concrete cure slowly and evenly by locking in moisture, which is exactly what it needs to gain strength. Curing isn't just about keeping the surface wet, it's about protecting the structure from cracks and early failure. We kept the slab covered and damp for several days. Once we were confident the concrete had reached the right strength, we carefully removed the formwork. Tip for builders, never rush curing. Concrete gets stronger with time. The first few days are the most important, treat them with care, and your slab will thank you for years to come. Looking back, this was one of the toughest parts of our journey, emotionally, financially, and mentally. We had to deal with failure, betrayal, unexpected costs, and the fear that everything we had worked for might collapse, literally. But through it all, we learned valuable lessons. We learned the importance of soil testing, of having the right professionals, and of not rushing through the early stages of construction. We grew wiser, more cautious, and more confident.
Yes, it shook us. But it didn't break us. If anything, it made us more determined. This project is more than bricks and beams, it's our vision, our sacrifice, and our legacy. And we're not giving up. If you're building on clay soil, or anywhere at all, make sure your team is trustworthy and experienced. Test your soil before you lay a single brick. Ask questions, and never settle. Comment below if you've ever faced a construction challenge, I'd love to hear your story. And don't forget to subscribe to Lady C for more real experiences from our journey of building a luxury apartment right here in Swaziland. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and being part of our journey. We're building more than just walls, we're building our dream of creating luxury apartments. Every step we take, the setbacks, the lessons, the wins, we share with you so that you can learn, laugh, and grow with us. Until next time, stay strong, stay focused, and keep building your dreams. This is Lady C, see you in the next video.